drive through Bonolo. No mind if I do. Yeah, it looks like a. I don't know. It kind of reminds me of um, like a Rolls Royce almost. Yeah, it's a Ford. That's cool. Yeah, so I was talking to this bloke um, last night yeah. and he told me it's got a 6 litre LS engine. It's the yeah. same as mine, but it's a 6 litre. It's got good heads and a bigger cam and a Borg Warner turbo and it, it makes he said it makes like 730 horsepower at the wheels <laughs> so what what capacity is yours uh, mine's a 5.7 so it's mine's 346 cube yeah. and this one is you just reverse the last two numbers they're just 364 cube I think he's got it on airbags or something. He was saying. Yeah, it looks pretty awesome. Look how he's tied it up. <laughs> Fuck it <hell. laughs> Oh man. Anyway. Well guys, good morning. Last night we picked picked that up from the airport. No dramas. Um, took took the whole the whole rig to um, the Rockhampton airport, so that was fun. Um, and this morning, we're just gonna go for a little walk around. So we just had a, having a quick look at a few of these cars. Um, and we're actually going to suss out whether or not we can stay here as opposed to camping. And there's a multitude of reasons for that. But for now, we're gonna go and have a look around we're going to see what cars have, are here in the um, in the facility, in the resort that we're in or whatever, and um, we'll go from there. We got here a Malu towing a car trailer. And this, man, when this come in, look at this transporter. It's... Well, uh, he's, he, he's transporting it with this truck? Yeah. So he's using the fifth wheel or whatever attachment. Man, it's huge, eh? Oh man, there's another VH. Yeah. Got a VH. What's in there? Oh, they're working on it. <laughs> How you going? Man, VN Group, eh? How you going? Just having a look at all the cars that are around, man. There's so many, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, this is the place to be. Yeah. We're going to see if we can... I only stayed here last night. We're in uh, Rocky Nats as well. Oh, yeah, right, yeah. Um, we're going to see if we can stay here yeah. longer, because... Yeah, yeah. Let's say, close, like, the burnout pad's just here. The rest of it's just over the river, and you can't just walk over there. There's a walkway on the bridge, apparently, and yeah. Yeah. No oh, man, it's it's shaping up to be to be good. Is this yours here or is it an actual group A? Yeah, yeah, Bro. Yeah, I know, crazy, eh? Oh man. So I didn't pay the sort of dollars that they're fetching these days. Oh dude, you're sitting on a sitting on an investment here. Oh yeah. Far out. Yeah, don't no. It seriously would be. Yeah. Wow. Just getting some video. But yeah, no, nah, awesome, man. I'll see you around anyway. Yeah, everyone's got their car under cover. Another American muscle car. Yeah, I think that's the um, the Chevy I was talking about. I think so, or a like a Chevelle or something, or yeah, Chevelle Malibu, which was the compact. They they called it compact because they had such big cars in America. Mm. So that car there, which is quite a big car, that's the compact man, yeah. and it's still huge. Chevelle, yeah. Be 
taste. Some H series ute or something. H that or H, I don't know. I'm no good with them, <laughs> especially with a cover on. Yeah. Oi, oi, what's going on? I'm just coming to have a suss of your falcon here. So we just stopped in to grab some food, um, load up on a, a few things that we need. We were wanting to stay at the current place that we're at and we went and saw them and there's no vacancy. We can't even stay in the place we're in. We have to be out today. So that's a bummer. But what we're gonna do instead is on the way back from um, this shopping trip, we're gonna hit a few motels and a few things on the way back because they're just across the road, there's heaps of them. Um, and just see if anyone happens to have a vacancy over the weekend. Not likely, but we can only try. So we're gonna do that and um, yeah, worst case scenario, we've got the camping spot in um, Tent City in, in Rocky Nats, but yeah, like I said, we kind of wanted to have a base to sort of operate out of and, you know, keep the laptop charged up and all that sort of stuff. Even though I've got all that gear, it's just going to be a whole lot easier if we've got like a proper place to stay kind of thing. So, um, yeah, that's the update. We'll, um, we're going to go and suss out uh, a motel now. Dad is going to go and stay in a motel in the city right next to the action. Uh, you know, he's got old man back and you know, he likes his creature comforts. I am going to stay in Tent City camping with all the other Bogans at Rocky Nats Tent City. That's the best approach. So that means dad can still do everything with me. Just at night, I'll go back to camp and he'll go back to his motel and then we'll meet up again in the morning and that's the best way we can see to do it because I've already booked the camping. Um, I don't have enough camping gear for him because I left in a rush. Anyway, it's, so what it's gonna mean is I can uh, camp in Tent City with the car. On the campsite, I can work on it. All this stuff you can't do at a motel, right? And I don't know if I mentioned, but we can't stay where we are now. Like we, we really wanted to stay here because there's a whole bunch of cool guys, heaps of cool people around here. And it's just a, an awesome vibe. And it's also got heaps of room for the car and all that sort of stuff. It's kind of perfect, but um, I just kind of assumed that we were going to be camping and, and we've ended up changing that a little bit. So that's all good. I think it's going to be for the best. And I think it's going to be it's gonna make it a really awesome weekend um, for both of us. So that's all good. So we're gonna go and head there now. We're just packing up. We're just leaving um, this park, something or other. So we're gonna go head to dad's motel now and that's Fitzroy Park Motel or something, something or other. Um, and we're gonna drop stuff off there. I've got a whole bunch of cutlery and stuff that he's gonna take potentially some dirty clothes and stuff that he can wash there and then you know because there's no clothes washing facilities at the camp so it's just going to mean it's a whole lot better and I think it's going to mean that these videos are going to um, I basically think it's going to make the weekend a whole lot better in terms of both dad and my overall event satisfaction it's really important that i can vlog and do this stuff and show you what we're doing and you know for those of you that can't make it or or you know because of where you live or if you just can't get out to this event or you really like cars or whatever i think it's important to share this stuff and so that's what i'm trying to do so um yeah i think the campsite's going to be sweet like i said i've got all the 12 volt gear to charge the laptop so I'm fully mobile and all that. Let's go, we'll go and drop off um, 
We'll head to the motel now, we'll unload some stuff, and then we're gonna figure out when we can go to Tent City and what the go is there. So I think we're gonna to head to the motel now, and then we're gonna to head to Tent City a bit after that. We'll maybe get some lunch in the middle, we'll see. Here we are, home sweet home. <laughs> so we've got that a motel, it's Fitzroy Motor Inn uh, in Rocky, and it's probably like a kilometer away from where I'll be camping. Um, so much more comfortable and you know there's a fridge here. Do you know if there's a place where you can get the get your clothes washed and that sort of stuff around here? Oh I didn't ask him actually. Yeah, either there's one here or there might be a laundromat nearby or something. That, anyway, so we'll sort sort all that stuff out, but it's definitely gonna be good. Um, so dad can just walk down. He likes to go for walks anyway in the morning, so he can walk down to Tent City, where I'll be, and I'll wake up and, you know, and then we'll just start our day. So, um, and it means that we don't have to buy a whole bunch of um, camping gear that I forgot to bring because I was packing very quickly to get out of Brisbane. So, I forgot a bit of stuff, or I, or I left behind a bit of stuff. So, it fixes that problem. It means we don't have to go and buy camping gear that I already own and then have to lug it back. We can just stay here and dad's nice and comfortable. I'll be out of camp, no worries at all, like I have been, and should be Mickey Mouse. So after we uh, checked in at the motel, we come through here, we just parked across the road from Tent City, which is just here. Um, and I just spoke to the bloke there for a bit. He, um, what he said was that we can't get in any earlier than one o'clock. So uh, it's about, what, it's 11 o'clock now. So it's not that long to wait, but I think we could go and have some lunch. Yep, a cup of coffee. Yes, yeah. coffee. <laughs> lunch, um, want to buy some more food. Um, and yeah, and then once, once I get set up at Tent City, um, I'll do some work on the car. Um, and get set up in there and sort of set up camp and that sort of thing um, and yeah so right now dad and I are gonna go get a cup of coffee probably have some lunch pick up some food that sort of thing we're towing cuddles behind us I don't know if you could see oh, got the... so we're towing cuddles so there's sort of sort of limited to oh man <laughs> what's going on here cars everywhere man rocky absolutely packed with just as you can imagine like top quality show cars like we saw a blown what was that chev on the road 57 chev 57 chev Two -door. Cool. man this thing was it was really like not a really cranky blown motor but it um you know had the twin carbs through the roof and man it was just so cool that the whole city really has sort of transformed into this like car mecca. It's just such a cool place to be. Um, I bet you you're gonna be, you probably would have been hearing wind buffeting from my aircon. I noticed that in the last video. I'll just shut the vent. Um, but yeah, no, like the place is just awesome. If, you, if, you, if you're if you watching this and you're attending, man, you, you're in for like, you're in for an awesome time. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be sweet. And I just wanted to say, if anyone's watching this, and you are attending and you see us cruising around or you see me or dad or whatever and please come and say hi like I it's never happened yet but surely with like you know 400 subscribers a whole 400 subscribers I know I know um, <laughs> but yeah if you see me like give us a holler like I'd love to um, chat to you and, and all sorts of stuff like if you want to come and say good day and you know go for a cruise in the car or whatever we'll be cruising around the city we've got 400 liters of methanol we need to burn through so there's only one way to do that so we're gonna we're gonna do that all weekend we're gonna be cruising through the city all weekend um all right well let's go get a let's go get some coffee and lunch all right we'll see you guys when we get back we'll be in 10 city we'll be setting up ready to go all righty, we are in the line, ready to enter Tent City. So, man, it's pretty cool. They've even got some. Uh, they've even got some ready-made tents set up. 
they're all the same and they're all like in a nice neat row and then there's also well, I don't know you, yeah, you can't really see it but like this whole field is marked out with kind of like grid lines um, so you've got like your own area or, or whatever so we've got a six meter by six meter area and there's a place to store your trailer apparently um, so yeah we'll we're gonna head in now um, so they won't let anyone in until one o'clock and it's like 10 to 1 so we're just all sort of lining up waiting to get in we'll get in start setting up camp uh, might unload cuddles and we still got to do a bit of work to it so I'll probably start doing that there but I just want to get all set up first um, man heaps of cars just cruising on by um, yeah so we'll do all that we'll get set up and we'll get that stuff finished off dad's just over having some lunch over at the motel he's gonna walk down um, when he's done yeah that's the update man getting very excited this is cool we're gonna get set up um, and I can't wait I can't wait to unload the car off the trailer and start start cruising around um, it's gonna be sick I'm just gonna drive it hey eh? it's uh, you know it is what it is uh, if we get harassed it's so be it but uh, we're cleared for the street parade so no dramas as far as I can see so when we get in when we get all set up we'll cut back in I'll show you all the setup I mean you've seen it all before but I've got a gazebo as well it's Damo's gazebo so we'll set that up over the car and um, set up camp next to it um, put the trailer down the back and um, yeah should be happy days just lining up to get in into Tent City got the registration booth there I'm not sure what the go is I'm assuming you just tell them your entrant number and we can go right in but well, who knows we're up in row E, which I think is that one right there. And we are the first one. So we'll be we'll be probably literally right there. All right, so we're at our site. Uh, we're just gonna unload the car. I might go forward a bit, but I might unload the car and then start setting up camp. I don't know what it is about Rocky and being incessantly windy, but um, gonna talk close to the camera because I'm pretty sure no matter where I stand there's gonna be wind noise but um, yeah I'll show you the show you the camp where we got set up there we go that's her obviously in a little bit of a shambles at the moment we got the car I'll probably center that up a bit better underneath the Gazebo a bit better. Got the jack holding it down. It's seriously windy. I literally screwed this piece of wood. I screwed the uh, gazebo down into that piece of wood. I held down there. But yeah, that's him. Setup done. That'll be us for the weekend. I'm fucking pumped. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. I shouldn't swear so much. I'm really pumped. <laughs> uh, man, I can't wait. Can't wait to do some stuff. Um, probably gonna go for a little drive in Cuddles a bit later on. Just to blow the cobwebs out, maybe go up and down the street or something. See how we go. Um, I think Dad's gonna rock up shortly. Um, and yeah. Be, we'll be off and running. So I'm still going to do, uh, still going to mount that fire extinguisher, and I go install some seat belts as well. I like the bracing harnesses so we can go and um, do the drag racing and that. And then I also have to figure out what the hell we're doing. Um, I've got the itinerary, I just can't remember it, so I'll have to look at that. I'll let you guys know so you guys can sort of tune in whenever you want, whichever day has got. Because I think the, the street drags are on one day. Um, we've obviously got the street parade tomorrow so I'll be videoing the whole thing of that dad will be with me in the passenger seat so we'll capture all of that 
including the drive there, which we're not we're not going to use the trailer. We're just going to drive there, um, and just see what happens. Um, so stay tuned for that. But I will update you if I I'll have a look on my emails. Pardon me. Just had a massive kebab, um, and uh, let you guys know when to tune in. But um, yeah, that's it for now. I'm going to do some work on this car but it's just really boring boring stuff I'll probably show you when it's all done coolest things about events like this is blokes like this what's your name Rowan 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 you're camping just over here and he saw me working on this and he's come over and he's super excited so how old are you I'm 16 16 years old and it's your first event yep and you are keen as a bean man he come up to me and he was like oh man because it was running and he told me he wants to build an HQ of his own um, it's just it's what it, this is all about for me. It's like, it was so cool to have someone your age because I remember when I was your age. And so tell them quickly what you want to do. Like, what do, what do you want? You want to, what kind of car do you want? I want a HQ Monaro. Yeah. Uh, full club, uh, burnout car, full roll cage, LS3. With Man. Pro charger on it. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Those are big dreams, man. Yeah. And. Man, when I was your age, um, I had all sorts of dreams like that, and they can all come true. So, man, great to meet you. Great to meet you too. Cheers. We'll go out in the car or something. We'll try and get you out. I'm keen to. Because this is what it's all about. Like, this is why I, I like to camp and do this stuff because um, I just love seeing the next generation come through. I don't know. I'm going to end it there. Thanks very much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the next one for tomorrow because. I'm gonna edit the video here and I'll put it up and you'll be you'll be famous. Nah 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 nah. Not really. I, I have like 400 subscribers, man. It's not it's nothing hectic, but um, we'll see ya. We'll see you tomorrow.